Within this video, we will explain you the syntax that can be used within Alumio. So first of all, we can say, for example, we use a value setter. And within that value setter, we want to address a certain key. For example, we want to get products and then the first item. So we could write products, dot first item. And then within the SKU, we want actually, let's say the SKU over here. And we want to write, for example, that we changed the SKU. If we hit the run test right now, we can see that we have like currently the first pro or the first product, which is product zero in changing the SKU. And if we would like to change that to a different value, we can change that over here as well. Would we say, for example, that we want to add a configuration and we want to write a, once again, a value set, to, but we want to use data that is already within the system here. We can use the placeholder notation, which is written this way. So we could say, for example, we introduce a new key. And with that, we want to place all the notation and we write in the products information in there completely. So we have a new key that will also have the information that's currently in the products. Would we like to say like, okay, we want to have a, a specific key, we would say zero in here. Then we will get an internal error because it doesn't know how that works. In this case, we would have to put the zero in between brackets and then it does understand which one to pick because we're working within an array right now and that is needed within these um, placeholder notation. From here, we can once again say, okay, we get this specific SKU or the SKU, for example, that we just changed. Would we say we use a certain uh, node transformer, for example, because the node transformer has certain uh, pattern accessors and therefore you have to provide a certain pattern in which you would like to do something. There we can say products. In this case, it's not with the brackets, but it once again, just with the dot. And then we can say, for example, we want to be in the uh, node of the first of the one that is ID one. So for example, we are here and I can test that simply by saying we put another value setter. And within that value setter, I could say I'm here just to simply test that it's over there. We can once again also say like, okay, we want to go to the zero that is possible. And also give the example that if we do this, that we will not see any changes because this is not the way that a pattern can recognize where to be at. And then besides all of this, we also have the option that, that within the um, placeholder notation, we can also use James path. James path is better explained within the um, expert webinar, but I can give a simple example of how that could look like. So for example, I remove these, I will introduce a new key. So let's say we introduce this new key and we let's just call it new key for the moment. I like before I can write the products in here, but I can do something uh, easier or something special here as well with James Beth of saying, for example, I only want the products in here, which is of the price all the way around price double is the quotes. I only want the products in here with a specific price in there. So once we do this, we hit the run test, we can see that we didn't copy the price of 10, but we only copy the price of the 995. So that is one of the few simple ways that you could use James Roth within these placeholder notations and also how to work with arrays and objects within those placeholder notation.